How's it going? In this video, I'm going to try to change the color and material of the base plate in Roblox Studio. So it's pretty much a basic tutorial. So you start to learn more on how to do stuff in Roblox Studio. You want to go ahead and go to the view section up top in Roblox Studio. So from there, you want to open up Explorer, Properties, and the Toolbox. You won't be using the Toolbox in this video, but it's important to have these three things when you're working on your games in Roblox Studio. Really helpful. So make sure you have Explorer and Properties open and Toolbox. But anyways, we're going to go to Explorer and open up the workspace, which is going to be on top. And you want to click on where you going to see is base plate as you can see i have it selected which is normally like a blue highlight which we have the whole base plate here selected we can go down to the properties which is usually located under the explorer and we can change the brick color from there which is basically the color we can change it to whatever we want i'm going to make it a green and or it's like a yellowish whatever uh then we can also change the material to whatever we want there's a lot of materials and colors to pick from so i decided to go with a snow material and a yellowish green but i realize this is kind of ugly and a funky looking color i think this looks really strange we're gonna go ahead and change this to whatever we want i'm going to make this something else also you remove the texture on the base plate as well which is depends if you use the classic base plate or not but anyways i decided to go with a sand material instead and a bright orange color so now we're testing it in game and it looks really great it's a really basic easy short tutorial on how to change the color and material on your base plates in roblox studio it's really easy stuff and if you have any questions just make sure to comment them below i'll try to get back to you guys and help you guys out but it's really going to help you customize your roblox games and further maximize your imagination when you're creating your games I don't know why I want to bring this up, by the way, but the other day, someone commented on one of my tutorials. It was like, um, you're not getting away with the AI voice. Like, why are you using AI for a voice? And I'm like, I'm not, you dummy. It's my actual voice. Why would I use AI when I can use my own voice? Do I sound like AI to you guys? Because I know I don't. I, do I sound like that? I don't know. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe if you found this helpful. And make sure to go ahead and support me by buying some of my clothing from my Roblox group. And consider joining the group as well. And go ahead and watch some of my other videos. Have a great night.